I can balance a spoon on my nose. It's true. Sometimes two. Young. Sometimes <laughs> two. I've seen her do it. Really? It's very impressive. So immature at a restaurant. Hey guys, Jessica here with very good looking and talented young people, Thomas Decker and Phoebe Tonkin. Now, you guys are obviously on the new CW show, The Secret Circle. I want to explain. I don't know how to say this. Um, we're different. You're different. Oh, for God's sake, spit it out. You're a witch. You're a full-blooded, 100% witch. We all are. We're sort of these kids who were born with this innate uh, ability and affinity for witchcraft through our, our parents. But we're not really kids who necessarily all of us want them or want to exploit what we can do. And since Phoebe's character is way more into it, I think, than mine. Totally. And I just want to use mine to get fry boots. Yes, I know. <laughs> the last time. Fry, I hope you're listening because he almost stole my boots from me and I need them. Thank you so much. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm like squeezing my toes. I'm like, just give me one. I'll take just one. No, your character, Faye, she's kind of a troublemaker. Did you know girls like that in high school? Because I feel like there's like a girl that you're like, I know how to be this girl because I didn't totally. like her. Totally. I got spat on at school and called princess. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I wasn't bullied, but I did start at a new school, kind of mid, I think I was like 17. I remember the first day I was like ordering lunch and this girl came up to me and I, I probably had fry boots or something of the else. I was wearing a cool outfit. I wasn't used to having like normal every day. I was always in a uniform and so on my first day at my new school, I dressed up for the occasion and a girl walked past me and spat on me and called me princess. So don't spit on people. That's the moral of this interview. A drop of water is light as air. Did you guys ever get into that in school by any chance? Like the witchery and stuff like that? I did do a seance with uh, like a personal one. I remember I got this, there was this book that told you everything you needed and the apple and the knife and the chalice and the whole thing. I'm not even joking. When I was about 15 and we tried it, uh, me and like four friends because we were trying to, to summon spirits, but I don't think we did. I think we just- Not that you know of. <laughs> right. Yeah, not that we know of. Maybe what is, that's what keeps opening and closing the door. <laughs> what about the light as a feather step of the board game? Oh, yeah. I did that, did you? Okay. Or, yeah. <laughs> did it work for you? Yeah, but someone was definitely, like, doing it. <laughs> like, using their, like, all their strength. We tried to lift our heaviest friend to see if it actually would work. So we wow, work. let's hope your friend is not watching right now. <laughs> we, couldn't, we couldn't really lift her. <laughs> so we wanted to see if it was real magic or not. <laughs> like we tried lifting our most unattractive friend. Oh, I hope she's not watching. I heard a rumor that you like to play pranks on set. I really like on a new project to, um, if someone says come to set, I like to like you know just throw something and yell like, you know, don't oh, talk God. to me like that and pull a whole big thing. And then I don't tell them I'm kidding for like a good two hours. Thomas is good at holding the pranks. Like you do things. And normal people will be like, oh, I was kidding, like 15 minutes later. I'm like still like three hours later being like, oh my God, and then he'll come up like, I'm kidding. It's like, you took it so too far. It is too far, but it's fun. I did one prank on my last show. I had this guy that played my boyfriend and he was just being a rat bag, just annoying me. And so I put Tiger Balm on my lips. You know that Tiger Balm, that muscle, and it's yes. like spicy as. Put it on my lips and did a kissing scene and watched him just, his eyes just start watering because it went straight onto his lips and his lips were just burning. And he had to do this whole scene and he was just like, oh my God, oh my God. I thought I was doing some weird like lip plumping venom thing and he was just having to carry on in the But scene. didn't it hurt your lips having so yeah. yeah. But it was worth it. It was totally worth it. And the show's called Secret Circle, so I think we should all tell a secret about each other. Mm, yes. How secret? <laughs> I know. How far can no, we go? No, no, just something show. that your fans would like to know. I can balance a spoon on my nose. It's true. Sometimes two. Well. So Sometimes that's my secret. Two. I've seen her do it. Really? It's very impressive. So immature at a restaurant. <laughs> my mom like wants to kill me every time I go out to dinner. I'm like, guys, we're gonna do it again. When I was about eight, no, I would have been about 16, 17, I went through a very embarrassing phase uh, where I thought I could beat box. Um, and I would do it with a couple of friends, uh, uh, musician friends who were like doing real music and I'd be like, I'm a great beatboxer. And now, like I've watched our old videos of it, not so much. What's your secret? Um. Yeah, now, right back at you. See, you were um, expecting that. I 
enjoy tattoos a little too much. So does he. Just and me as well, actually. So yeah. you're all yes. that gang. <laughs> yes, I'm like, I enjoy them a little too much. I get thoroughly excited, and I'm like, no, don't stop, don't stop. And she's like, weirdo. <laughs> you like, kind of meditate on it, right? You kind of like meditate yes. on the pain, even though it hurts a little bit. Yes. You kind of just, yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thanks and for I having cannot us. wait to see it. It's always fun with you. Yeah. My dear. I don't really want to wear those. <laughs> they're, they're not quite as much for me as the boots were. <laughs>